Okay, so uh, being from the CG world, there's actually you know more complex things I want to be able to uh, look at through uh, a RAM player, and so I'm going to talk about some of the other things that PD player can do, and uh, you'll start to see the layers and layers and st of stuff that is actually possible within PD player. So I'm going to go ahead and or remove that from the uh, list of things to do, and I'm going to go ahead and load this walk cycle here of this wolf. Uh, it's going to go ahead and load that up in RAM, and you'll look at this uh, this RAM player. I don't have. Uh, I'm actually playing this off my uh, two-year-old laptop, so it's actually a little bit uh, slower, but it still works pretty well. Um, the uh, the RAM will basically uh, indicate how much RAM you have left. I have two gigs of RAM on this machine, so uh, with all the other stuff that I have loaded on this computer, that's actually uh, not that much anymore these days. Anyway, so here's a clip of a uh, wolf that's going to be walking. Uh, all of these clips, by the way, are provided by uh, Fifth Degree, and uh, Fifth Degree has uh, is the uh, makers behind uh, PD Player. Um, and it's a uh, quite a nice uh, CG element here of a wolf doing a walk cycle. Uh, so you can see that that clip going. Uh, the reason this clip is uh, interesting for us to look at is the fact that basically this is a, a fully CG wolf and actually has a complete alpha. If I hit uh, A, you'll see the actual alpha channel that is uh, being done through PD player. So uh, I can hit A again and it'll go back to RGB. And so this right here tells you alpha RGB or to RGB. So you can ba get the basic idea of uh, what's going on. Um, with the alpha being shown, what I want to be able to show you guys is if I hit this uh, checker pattern uh, button right here, I actually can see the alpha of what's actually being shown in here. And uh, that's kind of a nice because basically I can preview how well this thing is going to uh, composite if there's any strange artifacts, etc. Uh, with fur, for example, it's always a good idea to sort of check to make sure that you have nice, good, clean alphas. Uh, so another thing that you can do is if you right click on here for example I can go ahead and composite that over blue and I can see about how my alpha is looking uh, on this clip. I can also go in here and I can uh, open up this whole set, new set of menus and I can check out my different pre -mults. So like for example here uh, I'm actually getting a, probably a proper alpha for this, this uh, fur and if it wasn't uh, pre malted correctly uh, I can actually see this this harsh black line that would happen from the uh, from the normal alpha. So pre-malting the alpha is a good way to to uh, uh, to work with it. So you can just slip through the different alpha modes. You can actually even slip through transparency if you want to make it more transparent. So it actually works in a basic layer manner in the same way that you would see from uh, a, a basic compositing package, which is kind of nice. Um, and I can go in here and I can actually select it over green or even white, sometimes white reveals some things that I want to see. Um, so uh, it's actually kind of a, a, a nice way of looking at things. Um, or actually over to check a pattern. Actually, check a pattern is actually pretty good because it, it, you can see the motion over the, the pattern as well. So all of these things that are, are, are very revealing of, of, sort of uh, start to reveal some of the underbelly of what PD player is actually capable of doing. Um, Okay, so now that I've talked about that, let's let's sort of go through the next scenario, which would be to uh, put a CG element over a plate, uh, and that's very common. You basically, uh, in my industry, in the visual effects uh, industry, what I like to do is I have to put some CG element over a plate, or sometimes even a CG element over another CG element, and just sort of see how that works together. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete this. Uh, and you'll notice your you, PD player actually works, you know, in the uh, the normal manner uh, with uh, alpha shown or not shown. It sort of applies to everything. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off, and I'm going to load the next clip here. I have a uh, a clip that has a uh, planet, and I'm going to go ahead and start loading that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video as this is loading because you don't, you guys don't need to see all of that stuff loaded. And then now that it's loaded that off the disk, I can go ahead and scrub this planet, and uh, it is going very basically showing this uh, pan across this planet here. And the next thing I can do is I can load up this satellite shot, and that's going to go ahead and load. I'm going to go ahead and pause again so the, it'll just load up. 
and I've now basically loaded my two clips. I'm going to go ahead and hide this uh, information bar here and I can basically hit the play and you'll see it's basically a satellite that's going over a planet and it's composited together A over B and if you don't believe me I can just turn that off and on and you can see that basically I've got my A over B uh, playing uh, one on top of the other which is very useful to be able to uh, play those things together and just have the RAM player take care of the, uh, the compositing for me. Um, now with that being said uh, I basically have an idea of what I can do on these on these different things, but uh, the the very important thing to be able to uh, do with a RAM player is presentations and uh, be able to interact with what you're looking at on the screen. And a P player has some really good stuff in order to do that. So I'm going to go over that next. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, and uh, talk about presentation options that are available in PD player.